you listen, you can try to hear those leaves hanging on for dear life, but my friends, the fall season is in the air. I've been hard at work in the backyard scale trail park here, raking up all the leaves, trying to get these trails ready. If you've never seen any of my videos before, welcome. This is my backyard play area, basically, for my son and I and my wife. We like to play out here with, as a family. A lot of my friends come over uh, with their one-tenth scale RC trucks, radio-controlled trail trucks. Sometimes eighth scale make it into this park as well, but handmade obstacles plus some uh, logs and, 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 of course, rocks and such that are through here that make it more challenging. Uh, for those that have seen the show before, I did take out my fountain for now because we have been getting a lot of freezing cold temperatures overnight and I don't want to crack the pump. But I figure for this wonderful fall video, I was going to take out my orange JK Max with some new uh, 3.2 inch wheels I have on it, like dub style wheels with new treads. Going to take that around the course for you today, kind of see how they work, how it does, and uh, maybe see what you guys think. Here we are, I'll give you a good look down here at the JK Max. All hooked up on their D1RC, huge 3.2 inch rims. A new tread pattern that I haven't tried on my uh, JK Max. So heavy at 13.5 pounds and basically all metal uh, RC except for the seats in the center console, but everything else comes in metal. Uh, dual shocks on every single corner. Uh, everything I want really in, in uh, scale movement, except I've never used these tires before. These wheels and tires are completely new to me. They're nice compound. The wheels are very light. Uh, even though they're extra wide, as you can see, I think we're going to have a great opportunity to put on a good show for you here today. So let's get rolling. Okay, hazard lights are on. Let's start this baby up. Okay, down the ramp. Try to avoid the cones. Nice and controlled. Beautiful. Up to the teeter totter. Get mounted up there. Nice wide tire. I'm loving it. Pylon. No. Oh, inside pylon right there. And I'm stuck. That's okay. One more backup. Oh, course is getting pulled apart. Piece of cake. Stuck on my front axle right there. That's some good tire flex. Easy. Clear. Here's where we always have tire slippage, right here. I wonder if we're gonna get hookup instead. Oh, digging a hole, right where the hole's always dug. Simple backup, 
We got this. Next set of gates right here. One on either side. Big holes. Yeah, right over it. That is like such a hard spot normally. Up and over. More cones. There we go, but no runaway. Okay, so here's a triple cone setup. This means that I have to go through this gate first, and then I have to go through this gate. So a very quick turn, which is not easy to do with big tires. No way I'm not going to hit that cone. That's too bad. I was clear. I needed to be more uh, lined up. That's a good shot though. Looks good. Full suspension drop there in the front. Our suspension flex in the back. All I need is not to hit the cone, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> that cone was delicious. Okay, down into this side, two cones, one's knocked over, still cannot hit it. Apparently it hasn't mattered much so far, but I like to have them as markers just to have extra fun. Always practicing that way. That drop down spot right there. Oh, got some traction. Through the cones, over the articulation platform. Oh, that just vibrated out of the way. I cleared it though. Unfortunately, I'd love to do the rope bridge that's right above it, but this truck is way too heavy for the rope bridge. I'll have to get a wire bridge installed so I don't have any, uh, any ropes that get weak with weather. Swamp time. Oh, oh, that's not good. What's wrong in the front? I wonder if I broke the drive pin. Yeah, it's barely turning. Oh, nice. Come on. Are we able to do this? Oh, that front tire is not turning at all. That's a bad sign. Two wheel drive going uphill on the rocks. Three wheel drive. Come on, baby. I, for one, am not surprised to see a larger tire snap out a pin, if that's what it is. The extra diameter is a problem for sure. If I only had crawl on that front one, we'd be through. There we go. Just had to wiggle our way through there. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I lose my drive cap. How about a 
higher gear. Back it up. Okay, cool, at least I'm out. Well, there you go, guys. I got a front tire to investigate now. I'm on my way back to the shop, but hopefully you've enjoyed today's RC adventure. It inspires you to get outside. I got a lot of cleaning to do now. A little cleaning, a little fixing. But next time I get to go out and power down again. That's what the hobby's all about. Bye, guys. And for all the keeners out there, you know as well as I do, I was going to go inside and check it right away. It was not a broken pin. It was actually, even though you can't see it because of the shadow right in there, it's actually the neck of the axle. You can see it's actually broken. Now this isn't a brand new axle. In fact, I've done tons of trailing with this axle and it's no big surprise. Anybody who understands how mechanics work, when you put a giant gear on a small little neck like this that isn't supposed to handle something like that, adding weight like water and rocks and resistance is definitely gonna turn around and uh, cause some strength issues. So I'm gonna have to replace that out. It was not the drive pin. It was actually the neck of the axle.